Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, thank you for clicking on to today's video and if you're coming back to my channel, welcome back you guys. Now about two to three days ago, I had posted a video on my TikTok. For those of you who follow me on TikTok, you know exactly which video I'm talking about. And also for those of you who follow me on Instagram, know exactly which video I'm talking about. So I had actually posted a video on how I made this beautiful painting, as you guys can see here, this beautiful painting. And I had made a 15 second video, as you can see this video, where I'm showing just a little glimpse of how I made the Hogwarts castle. If you are a Harry Potter fan, just like me, know exactly that hogwarts is our home yes exactly it is our home i have been a harry potter fan for the longest and till this day and so i decided to make a short video of me making the hogwarts castle and i had mentioned that would you guys like to see a tutorial if so of me showing you step by step on how I created this painting from the likes that I received and from my story as you can see from the screen here you can see that 100% of you guys on my Instagram story said yes you want to see a tutorial on how I made the painting and on TikTok the amount of likes that I got thank you so much to each and every one of you for those likes I'm so excited to show you how easy it is on how to create this beautiful painting and without taking much of your guys' time let's dive into the video and without further ado let's begin with the video start with first grabbing a plain white canvas uh, the size that I'm using is a 8x10 canvas next I'm going to add two drops of dark blue paint one on the top right and the other drop on the top middle Next, I'm going to add one drop of white paint on the left top part and another dark blue paint drop below the white paint. Next, using my paintbrush, I'm going to first blend the blue paint drops starting from below and then the top. And using the same paintbrush, I'm going to blend the white paint with the blue paint like this. Once that's complete, this is how it will look like. Once the paint is a little dry, uh, using some white paint, I'm going to make a moon. Make sure that it's thicker from the top area and then lighter at the bottom so it gives a dark to light look. When I'm making the clouds, I'm going to use my brush and the way how I'm going to turn my brush, I'm going to swirl it to the right so that way it brings in the volume as I am making the clouds. The same exact thing, bringing the dark to light effect. And to cover the rest of the canvas, I'm going to add two more drops of dark blue paint and just blend that in until it is all blue. To make the stars, I just dabbed on some white paint and this is how it looks like. Next, to get a little darker effect to the clouds, I'm simply going to make a darker shade of blue by mixing both dark blue and a little bit of black paint. And once that's made, I'm going to add that on the clouds. Now adding a little black paint to the paint I had made for the clouds, I'm going to start with making the Hogwarts castle. Once our castle is finally looking like a castle, next, using some black paint, I'm going to try to bring the dark to light effect again, starting from the triangle shape from the top and then going below. Thank you. 
Next, I'm gonna add some white paint and I'm gonna try to bring out that effect again, the dark to light effect. And I'm just gonna blend that in with some black paint. Next, I'm going to start with making the windows. Uh, so as you can see from the picture here, that's exactly what I'm going to be making using some white paint. And I'm pretty much just making white streaks. And I'm just going to darken it up a little bit using a smaller brush. And then once that's complete, this is how it will look like. I'm going to make another small tower just below the window that we just complete. And just like as shown on the picture, that's what I'm going to continue adding on the castle. Just continue adding on the dark to light effect on the triangles and as well as as you are shading in the castle. Next, using some yellow paint, I'm just going to dab on the yellow paint uh, on the castle, making it look like they are windows. Next, once the castle is complete, now it's time to make the rocks. So I'm going to be simply using some black paint. Next, I'm going to add some white paint on the top of the rocks, bringing the light to dark effect. Continue doing so until it looks like this. To finish off, I'm going to add some more yellow paint by bringing the light effect by adding it down below like this. And here is the finished look. Wow, this looks absolutely beautiful. What do you guys think? 
And that is it you guys. I hope you all enjoyed watching today's video and learned something new from today's video as well. Also, if you liked today's video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. That really keeps me motivated on keep going. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know uh, what other kinds of DIY arts and craft videos you want to see on this channel. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notified each time I post a new video on this channel so you never miss any of my posts. Also, we've just hit 300 subscribers, well, 301 now, so I feel phenomenal. Thank you so much to each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart for making this happen from having zero subscribers to 300 of you guys, now 301. I do really feel appreciated. I'm very thankful to each and every one of you because I literally feel so motivated when I do receive the amount of love that you guys give. And let's continue growing because I cannot grow without your guys' support. Don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram to stay up to date on when I post my next videos or any of the important announcements. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok for more short, quick and easy DIY projects or arts and craft videos. Follow me on TikTok, so be sure to follow me on both my socials. Also, for those of you who didn't know, I had a giveaway contest last month, which was from my DIY channel, and the winner is Victoria, so congratulations for winning this prize. Also, I will be doing more giveaways in the future that you wouldn't want to miss out, so be sure to subscribe to my DIY channel and my vlog channel, and follow me on Instagram for any of the other announcements. In the honor of getting 300 subscribers, I would like to give a shout out to each and every one of you out there for all your love and support. Also, in order to get a video shout out, all you have to do is just give this video a like, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Give this video a like, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and you'll be easily entered in to get a shout out in my next video. Also, for those of you who don't know, I also have a vlog channel. So if you haven't checked out my vlog channel yet, I'm going to leave the link down in the description below and just up here for you guys. So be sure to check out my vlog channel. I had recently posted a video on what I got for Christmas. So be sure to check that out. And there's much more, many more videos coming up as well. So show some love and support by hitting the subscribe button. I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, take care guys, stay safe, and bye.